um, what we have in here. Again, we need to identify all the sides of the triangle. When we're, before you guys get into this trick, make sure you can identify all the sides of the triangle, Blake. So first of all, we need to look at which angle are we provided, A, C, or B. Well, obviously, C is the right angle, so we're not going to be evaluating that. But it's either A or B. And between these two, you can see that A is going to be our selected angle. I know, but the fact that you don't even have anything to write down what we're going over is like confusing me. So now you have, you have A is going to be your side, or A is going to be your angle. Now, according to A, we need to be able to determine what is going to be my opposite, my adjacent, and my hypotenuse. Okay. Well, obviously, the first thing we can do is determine that my hypotenuse is directly across from my right angles. Then remember, the adjacent side is always the side that connects your angle to your right angle. So you can see that 7 is going to be my adjacent side. And the only other side that else that I can include is going to be my opposite side. So now I need to determine, well, what trigonometric ratio had only deals with the opposite and the adjacent AJ? Tangent. So the tangent, because this is what you guys are supposed to all write down, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we know the angle, which is tangent of 36 degrees, equals opposite over adjacent. Now you simply just need to solve for x. So I need to get the 7 off the denominator. So therefore, to do that, I'll multiply by 7 on both sides. And therefore, I have x equals 7 times the tangent of 36 degrees. So now, to plug it in, all I do is 7 times tangent of 36 degrees, which is 5.09. number nine.